Shalom. My name is Yeshua Yaakov uh, from Jerusalem. Shalom Baruch. Uh, you're in, uh, giving a speech today, I see, to the AFL-CIO. <coughs> um, okay. Um, the videos of late are becoming uh, critiques to sharpen your focus and uh, amplify the, uh, the signal content of your delivery. Uh, a light few words of a light touch. Uh, in, in talking to organized labor, uh, the economy, the economy in general, and jobs, jobs, jobs in particular, is the dialogic of the day. Uh, and uh, specifically, uh, you have to present to them a, a plan and a program. I want to critique and say that the joke you made about the bowling alley, uh, about your, your, your numbers dropping in the polls after your bowling, you bowled 37 on a possible 300. Uh, the grammar of that is, on the economy, you're bowling about the same score. And, uh, and when McCain gets to you and his, his, uh, his rifle and his, uh, his, uh, his entourage, they're going to they're gonna shoot up the town. And uh, he may be weak on the economy, but the people that he has are planning a, a real a real route of Barack Obama. Now let's get to Taklas. In Pennsylvania, uh, to those who are looking at this video, Barack Obama's plan and program is the new economic paradigm for America. It will be manifest through the DNC, uh, uh, providing a through its platform committee. Uh, recommendations for the new economic paradigm becoming the central organizing principle of the Obama administration that will create tens of millions of jobs beginning in uh, month 14 through 18th month of the project which will involve over several decades several, uh, somewhere in the order of four to five trillion dollars of investment for a world-class global technologic in infrastructure that is going to be employing tens of thousands of people a month through year 12 of the project. It will triple the gross domestic product of America. It will make America the most competitive economy in the world. And it will run the project into year between years 13 and 14. America will be running at full employment. And it will have paid down the entire national debt. The currency will have been, the econometric macros suggest uh, the currency will have tripled. Now, what is this all about? It is based upon humanomics in general, and its new economic paradigm in particular. And I'm the author of the trilogy Humanomics, and in particular the new economic paradigm. The new economic paradigm is a model, is a program. It is the result of many, many years of science and applied technology development. Um, it is the central organizing principle of the world's new economy. That is your plan and program for America. That is your vision. That is your international content. It is not an articulation. It is not a political promise. It's a reality. It is your program. And this is the message that you have for American Americans in respect of labor and jobs creation. And uh, with this, when you get to the White House, you can practice up with your bowling. You'll start to bowl in the, in the 220s, the 230, 240, 250 scores, which is really top notch in bowling. So uh, let's, let's raise up the, uh, the presentation, let's get the vision, and let's get the delivery and the content. Um, I'm Yoshua Yaakov ben Avraham. I endorse this message. I endorse the provision of the new economic paradigm, its original science and technology, uh, to the DNC for its platform committee to articulate it as the central uh, premise of the uh, democratic party's platform for America and for your campaign for president. Uh, now let's start to deliver this at the grassroots and particularly uh, try to get this on the air in Pennsylvania because it's very important to the people of Pennsylvania. And uh, the, uh, the integration of labor, I will, I will, I will summarize uh, briefly what it is. The integration of labor is what replaces the division of labor model. It identifies in classical terms the information is the new agent of transformation. Its particular technology model is based upon four macro sub-models, and they are uh, human development, uh, systems integration, natural intelligence, and uh, network services. 
Uh, now, each one of those sub-models, I will go through them again. A human development is light years, more complex and way beyond what the United Nations refers to as sustainable human development. Systems integration in the sub-model of the new economic paradigm is light years beyond what IBM defines as systems integration, network services. The sub-model uh, is light years beyond what the phone companies uh, call network services. And lastly, natural intelligence is not artificial intelligence. It is light years in sophistication and complexity beyond. Now, you combine these four sub-technology models, and they're embodied in the project and program of world-class global technologic infrastructure that evolves into Internet 3. This is the cutting edge, the competitive edge that will make America the most competitive economy in the world for the, for the century ahead. This is where the four trillion of investment, four to five trillion investment will be required to do this, to achieve full employment and to eliminate the national debt and to triple the gross domestic product as well as the value of the currency. Eliminate the trade deficit. It will retrofit the workforce. It will retrain and re-educate the entire workforce of America. Uh, that's the story. Now, that's what it is. It's not, uh, this is not Bob the Builder. Uh, yes, we can. Uh, uh, this is the future that we, uh, th you say in your campaign, uh, change we can believe in. This is the change that we can inhabit. In, uh, and these are the jobs, and these are where they're going to come from. And so, uh, as the author of the New Economic Paradigm, I endorse this message. I endorse your receiving this science and technology as your central platform. You're going to deliver it uh, for the American people, and when you bowl in the future, you're not going to bowl 37, and your ratings in the polls are going to go up, not down. Uh, having said all of that, uh, we wish you blessings and great success with your campaign. And if you got this message on the air, if you got work, and if you got up the learning curve and applied this right now, you'd win in Pennsylvania. You wouldn't be, uh, uh, you wouldn't be, uh, you wouldn't be running second. And you have to have this message when you meet McCain, because McCain is going to, he's going to have a, a very, very competent team of people who are going to uh, attack this Achilles heel. This. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, you're, you're a bit shallow and thin here, uh, and uh, but that's okay. We we have to all of us, uh, you know, put on a little weight. <laughs> as I <laughs> anyway, all of the very best. We bless you from Jerusalem, and uh, well done. And to the labor movement, uh, I don't know uh, if uh, if he's still in it, but uh, Lane Kirkland is uh, the, the was was in the past uh, the president of the FLC. I don't know if he still is. He's a friend, but I haven't seen him in. 25 or 30 years. Uh, so anyway, if he was at your meeting in, uh, in Philadelphia, we wish him, uh, we wish him uh, a, a shalom from Jerusalem. Having said that, uh, Barak, uh, listen to your Rebbe in Jerusalem, Yeshua Yaakov. By the way, I used to be Michael O'Donnell <laughs> before I was Yeshua Yaakov of the Navarham. Anyway, thanks and, uh, and blessings.